Robots are getting faster and better. In some cases, they prove to be even more intelligent than humans. As their capabilities continue to improve, many keep wondering if there is anything that robots can't do. In our next story, we show you how robots are advancing in 2023. Robots are on the rise. They're everywhere. We've seen them deliver parcels, cook food and serve drinks. But the new age robots can now do a lot more than we can perhaps imagine. Here are some of them. The first one on our list is an autonomous two-wheeled robot developed by Asento Robotics. What does it do? It acts as a security guard. Ascento robot guards are now patrolling several sites in Switzerland. They provide an added layer of security and enhance operational efficiency. The robot can navigate rough terrain, bumps, steps and even snow with its off-road tires. According to the company, its robot guards allow a single human security guard to efficiently cover large outdoor areas that would require significant manpower to patrol in person. The robot features a thermal camera that detects people and vehicles. Its 360-degree camera can capture images of its surroundings. The robot can communicate via a live feed with a backup operator in a control center. It can maintain records as well, which means the robot is able to produce automatic daily security reports. We chose to go for the security market because this is a place where it's really difficult to find people nowadays. They have to work long hours um, and they have to work in every weather conditions. Um, we did this job ourselves and it's really brutal. Um, and we wanted to help there and our robots are able to make the life of these guards a lot easier. Over the last few years, Boston Dynamics has deployed over a thousand robots to various sites. And now its robot is coming in handy in the Paris underground metro. The company's dog-like robot is helping the workers repair the 100-year-old regional railway network. The administration has bought the robot for around $110,000. It even has a French name, Perceval. The bot can inspect hard-to-reach and hazardous areas. It has a 360-degree camera with an infrared sensor. The camera allows it to capture accurate thermal and visual data. Before Perceval, either we don't go in there or we were going, but putting the workers' health at risk. So thanks to Perceval, we can go and the workers remain safe and we can monitor the sites that we couldn't necessarily monitor before. What you see on your screen is a lung transplant being carried out in a hospital in Spain. What's interesting is that the surgeon is a four-armed robot. His name is Da Vinci. The robot is using a pioneering technique with him. Da Vinci cuts a small section of the patient's skin and muscle to remove the damaged lung. It then inserts a new one through an 8 cm incision in the lower part of the sternum. Surgeons at the hospital say that this new procedure is less painful for the patient. It's also safer than the traditional method, which requires a 30 cm incision. New York City recently had a parking garage collapse in Lower Manhattan. The garage was too unstable for New York City Fire Department personnel to enter. So they sent in a dog that goes where humans can't. Meet Berg, the four-legged robot dog. He initiated the search and rescue operation of the collapsed building. How? By using its thermal camera while looking for people who may be trapped. A task too risky for first responders at the time. For the first time in history, FDNY and NYPD responded with multiple air and ground robots working together to prevent the loss of life. It was the first time the FDNY put his robot dog, Berg, into action. The building was too dangerous for personnel to enter, so Berg went into the building instead. 
Using this thermal camera, our robot teams were able to determine that no other person or no other individual was trapped and also inspect the building structural components. The next one on our list is a shark. Don't worry, it's a robotic one. It's being used to eat plastic waste in London's Thames River, an effort to clean up plastic pollution in the area. The waste shark gobbles up to 22,700 plastic bottles per day. The aquatic droid is London's first marine robot designed to remove water waste. It can also collect data on the water quality during its surveying time. The world as we know it is changing and robots are playing a key role. By allowing machines to take over redundant and dangerous tasks, humans may be able to focus on more creative and fulfilling work. While some see the rise of robots as a cause for concern, others see it as an opportunity. What do you think?